Hey everyone, welcome back again. So guys, in this video, you will learn how you can create issues in Jira as and when you or your customer raise a ticket in Zendesk. So guys, Zendesk is a customer support building application by which you can create customer help desks. And if any customer of yours raise a ticket or an issue in Zendesk, you want to create the same issue in Jira because Jira is a issue tracking and project management application where you can track your uh, projects and your tasks and your issues. So guys, if you want to track your issues that you are getting on uh, Zendesk from your customers with the help of Jira, you can use this automation. It is a perfect solution for you. Here you can see on my screen now, this will be the flow of this automation. Here as and when you or your customer is going to create a ticket in Zendesk, the same ticket will be created as an issue in Jira application automatically. So you, you do not have to manually see who is creating the ticket and you do not have to manually create an issue in Jira according to the ticket you got from Zendesk. So it will save your time in manually copy pasting the data from one application to another and it will improve your productivity. So we are using Pabli Connect application to make this happen, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. To set up this automation, guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. So we have pasted the same in the description as well. From there, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks every month. OK, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Zendesk to Jira automation. OK. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is, is loading up here. And on this page, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So these are the things by which we are going to build this automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start or make this workflow run and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a, a new ticket created in Zendesk and the action towards that trigger would be to create an issue in Jira. OK, so first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application as Zendesk. OK, here it is selected. All right. And in the trigger event, you have to select this new ticket option. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL, guys. And with the help of this, uh, we can make a connection with Zendesk. OK. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection between Pabli Connect and Zendesk. So it's quite a long process here. You can read the instructions. Let me show you the exact method. You can just read these steps one by one and follow the steps. So your first step, first step is to log in into your Zendesk account. So I have already logged in here. You can see this is my Zendesk account. And here you have to click on the admin in the sidebar. Then you have to go to the admin center. Let's do this. OK, so let's see in the sidebar if we, sorry, this is the admin center. Actually, this is uh, the dashboard I have. And from here, let's check. This is the admin icon. You can see just click on it. OK, and this is the admin section. And here you have to click on uh, go to admin center. OK, apps and integrations. Let's see apps and integrations option. OK, the, here you can see it is written here. Go to admin center. Click on go to admin center. So this is the admin center and here you can see we have this apps and integrations tab here. Click on apps and integrations. All right. So here let's read the instructions again. Now you have to find the webhook option here. Let me check. Here we have this webhooks option. Click on webhooks. 
and here you have to create a new webhook so to do, do that just click on this actions option and click on create webhook and here you can give a name to this connection so i am giving the name as new tickets to jira okay so this is my connections name here you can give a small description to this connection also i am just leaving this blank you can fill it and in the endpoint url field you have to copy and paste this webhook url okay so just click on copy and paste this url here in this endpoint url field like this and in the request method you have to select post option okay and the request format would be json only and here when you click on test webhook button the test data of that connection will be sent to this workflow here you can see as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhook's response. Okay, so this means now we can perform a test submission. Test So to get the test data here and the, with the help of that data, we are going to move forward in this automation. What we are going to do, we are just going to click here on this test webhook button. So the test data of a new ticket getting created will be sent to the workflow. Okay, so I'm clicking on test webhook. So when you click on this test webhook, here you will find this send test button. And here you can see the test event sources sample support ticket. So it will, when you click on the send test, it will send this uh, sample data of a support getting created in Zendesk. Okay, so let me click on send test here. Okay, now let's see in our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see this is how the sample data will be fetched here in the workflow okay it is showing the priority label which is showing high the status label open the subject label description so these are the things you get whenever you raise a ticket in zendesk okay so that's how you can fetch the test data here and now you have to come here and scroll down okay and then click on create button all right, so a new webhook details are added here. A connection is made. Okay, and now what you have to do, just read the instructions here. Now you have to uh, find out object and rules option. There you'll find business rules. There you have to add a trigger. Let's do this. Here you can see guys, uh, on the left hand side panel, you will find this objects and rules option. Click on it. And here you will find this business rules under which you will find this triggers option. Click on triggers. And here you have to add a trigger on which you want to send the data. Okay. So to add the trigger here, we have this add trigger button. Click on it. All right. And this page will open up. And here it is asking for the trigger name. So I'm giving that trigger name as Jira issues. Here you can provide a description here you can select the category the category is notifications okay and here it is asking for the conditions so here you have to add a condition on which you want to send the data from zendesk to the workflow okay so click on add condition here and here you have to select this ticket option and it is asking ticket is created or updated so i want that whenever a ticket is created the data should be sent and triggers the workflow okay so select created option here right so we have added a condition and here it is asking meet any of the following conditions so you can leave this blank and here uh, just read the instructions okay ticket is created add condition notify active webhooks okay now you have to add an action so we have added a trigger actually and here we have this action section here we have added a trigger and here it is asking for the action so the action click on add action and the action would be notify active webhooks so here we are deciding the triggers and action for zendesk so whenever you create a ticket in zendesk what what we want we want to send the data through an active webhook so i have selected in the actions notify active webhooks and here you have to select the webhook that you have added so i have added this webhook recently new tickets to jira so i'm selecting this one and here it is asking the post uh, the method of the sending of data is post and here it is asking the json body in which you want to send the data so here you have to just paste this uh uh you know 
we have to paste this JSON format of the data. So you can just copy this whole data from here. So these are the placeholders by which you can send the data. You can pass the data from uh, Zendesk to your workflow. So it's a bit of techy thing here, but you can just follow the instructions and you'll get it. All right, so you can see I have just uh, pasted the data from my workflow. Now you have to click on this create button from this uh, bottom side. And you can see a, a trigger was created here for Jira issues. Okay, right. So we are done making the connection here, guys. And we got the data, the test data also like this. Now I want that whenever such a issue is created, such a ticket is raised in Zendesk, the same ticket will be created as an issue in Jira. For that to happen, I'm going to use this action step. And from this choose F field, choose Jira software, guys. This is Jira software and the action event, select create issue option, then click on connect. All right. And here it is asking to add the new connection. So select add new connection option if you're making the connection for the first time. Okay. And then click on connect with Jira software. So it will bring you to this window. And from here it is asking uh, the access request for Pabli Connect. So you have to give the access to Pabli Connect for a site that you have in Jira. So I'm using this one, pabli.atlassian.net. Okay, so let me just select it and accept it. You can see we are getting connected here. All right, the authorization is successful. And we are now connected, okay. So here it is, it is uh, showing you the base URL as well. So I can show you my Jira software. You can check the base URL is the same, pabli.atlassian.net, okay. And here it is showing the base URL like this. So you can select it from here. And now you can select the project. So I am working under this project. Let me show you bug tracking, okay. So this is my bug tracking project. Let me select this, okay. Here it is asking issue type. So you can select the issue type as bug, new feature, task or anything like that. So I'm selecting, uh, you know, I'm selecting epic. Okay. And here it is asking for the summary, the description, the priority and all these things. So guys, now I'm going to use the data I have received here as the test data in the first step. And I'm going to map these labels here in this step. So to map the labels, you just have to click here and it will show you the Zendesk step in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step. So from here, I'm going to map this subject label here in the summary. Okay. And in the description, I'm going to map the description label. Okay. And now you can select the priority. So uh, here you can see, you can check the priority is high here and you can select it. Okay. And if you want to apply a label, you can enter a label. Okay. And here it is asking for the assignee ID. So you can assign this issue from here only to your Jira members. Here we have all these Jira team members. So I'm assigning this issue to this person, Ashmita Mandal. Here it is asking for the reporter ID. Guys, to uh, find the reporter ID, you need to go back to your Jira application. And there uh, you can see here actually. When you are going to create an issue manually here, click on create. Here it asks for the reporter's ID and the reporter is Pabli apps or the person who, who, who created this Jira account here. Okay, that is the person who is reporter. That means whenever you are going to update anything in the issue, a notification will be sent to the reporter. Okay, so to get the reporter ID, what you have to do uh, you have to just click here on this profile icon from this profile icon click on profile option and here you can see now on the top search bar after this people we have this string of integers and alphabets this is actually the uh, reporter id so you can just copy it from here okay like this and you can paste it here in this reporter id field like this okay here it is asking for the due date as well. All right. So, so as you can see here in this test data that we have received in the first step, they didn't send us any due date of this uh, ticket. Okay. But you can create a due date by using a feature of Pabli Connect here. So to create a due date, 
for the ticket and for the issue you can just click here in this plus icon in between these two steps like this and from the section step you can search for a feature of public internet which is called date time formatter select date time formatter and in the action event you can select this modify current date option so let's say that you want that this ticket that the person has raised should be resolved in 24 hours this means after one day of the creation of the uh, issue or a day or the ticket so for that you can use this modify current date option and we can uh, fetch the date and time 24 hours after this uh, date and time on which you got the issue or the ticket raised so click on connect here and here it is asking for the dates format so remember to select the date format as asked here in this field so it is asking the date in this format okay so you can select this date format here just click here on this field and it will show you this format in the last option okay just select it now you can select your time zone i am working in india so my time zone is asia kolkata select it and here it is asking for the operation so i want to add one day to this day to the current date and time okay so select the unit as days and in the value put one okay now click on save and send test request and here you can see in this date time label we got this date and time in this format okay so this can be our due date so now you can fill this due date here you can map this due date here in this field so you can see when i click here now it is not showing the previous steps because we have added one more step in be in between the two steps so now i am going to refresh the connection with jira just click on connected here and from here keep this select existing connection option selected and click on save one more time and you will be connected again So you can see we are connected with Jira software again and here now when you click on this due date field it will show the previous two steps like this and from this last step map this date time label like this ok and we are done mapping the required data so these are not compulsory fields so I am leaving these things blank you can use that also and now you can check your connection with Jira by clicking on save and send test request and a new issue will be created here here in your uh, Jira project let me open the project which is this bug tracking so the last last issue was this PT46 okay let me create a new one I am clicking on save and send test request and here you can see it has showing us this this kind of response now it is showing the key BT47 is created let's check in uh, Jira if we got a new issue created so I am refreshing the page here and you can see bd47 a new issue is created here help my printer is on fire the fire is very colorful this is the issue assignee is ashmita mandal and that's how it is going to work so you can see this is the same data that we got here that we have mapped here in these fields my printer is on fire the fire is very colorful and the shiny was ashmita mandal this is how it is going to work so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you do not have to do anything manually here in this workflow after that as and when any person is going to raise a ticket in zendesk the same ticket will be created as an issue in jira automatically and guys you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.